Welcome to GoPost of Jumpers. Do you want to embarrass your mates a fancy football league? Yes. Well, look no further. No. We are the experts. No. No, we're not. But we'll try. We'll give it a go. We'll try. We'll give it a go. Look, what is this feature, Alex? This fancy football feature? How does it work? And how does it benefit you, the audience, watching right now on your phone, on your TV, on your cabbages? Remember to subscribe. If you don't fucking subscribe, I swear on my life. Subscribe. If you don't subscribe and like this video. You won't get a cabbage. Uh, so how this feature works. Every single week, we will be going through all of the top fantasy Premier League players of the week. Players who are in form, players who are scoring points, who we think you should put in your team. Mm. So we're going to give you loads of advice. We're going to give you loads of tips, hopefully. Um, but... The first things first, we are going to be doing our own day one team. Ooh. Day one team means we are going to pick our first squad. We are not allowed to touch it for the rest of the season. Okay. So we pick our starting 11. We pick our four subs. No touching for the rest of the season. Whoever wins, it's Baker versus Alex. Whoever wins, wins. There is a lucrative prize, and that is just pure pride for whoever wins. Yeah, so this is how this benefits you guys watching. You can join in with our fancy league. Yep. The link for the league is below in the description. The code right here. There. The code. Right here. There. Covering all bases right now. Make sure you join because there's a lucrative prize of how much, Alex? It's one hundred thousand pounds. No. It's a hundred a hundred British pounds. Hundred British pounds for the winner of our league. Free entry. So enter hundred percent game. Doesn't cost you anything. Mm. Get involved. Pit your wits against me and Baker. Obviously, mm. you can make as many transfers as, as they like. You can make as many transfers. You can change your captain. We cannot touch it. So you're saying this day one team that we've created, yeah. we cannot choose any more players. We cannot transfer players out. No. We that. So what happens? Like my striker that I choose, if yeah. he gets transferred to the Spanish league in the middle of the season, yeah. what happens? You're fucked. I'm fucked. Basically, yeah. So if you have an injury, if you have a player go AWOL and doesn't want to play, refuses to play, hands in a transfer request in January, that's it. Okay. So pick your team wisely. We'll have a regular team side by side with you guys though, uh, for you guys to pit yourselves against us and win that hundred pounds. You've come up with some form of forfeit here. You haven't told me about this. What? What? So like, if if one of us loses, we've a got a forfeit. forfeit. It's a small, it's a small forfeit. forfeit. So okay. the loser at the end of the season. Out of me and Alex. The loser at the end of the season. What have you got to do when you lose, Alex? Because you're going to lose. The loser at the end of the season will get a goalpost, official goalpost for jumpers, tattoo of a jumper. What? That jumper right there. You see it right there. Yeah. You will have to get that tattooed on your body when you lose at the end of the season. No. Yes. Well, that. 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 On your body somewhere at the end of the season when you lose. No. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I, I know. wish you told me about that. Yeah. To be honest, though, I've already got six tattoos. I have zero. So, so this will be my first you tattoo guys will be rooting for Team Baker right now because we want to see him get his first lose. tattoo being the goalpost <laughs> jumper's jumper. Oh, it's a story at least. So you've got that £100 prize. You've got the possibility of Alex getting a tattoo of a jumper. Please no. Please no. So what are we going to do here? What are we going to get? Because... Where, once this series gets rolling, we'll be giving you guys tips and everything. Right now, there's not much to give. The season has started. How are we going to kick this off? So we're going to kick it off. You're going to choose your team. You're going to tell me okay. which team, what uh, players you're going to choose for your team. You're going to give me your start at 11 and your four backup players that can come in at any point. Those four will be chosen by the actual Fantasy Premier League. You can't substitute them in. Okay, They'll okay. be automatically subbed in if your players... So what Ill, is this for? You gave me sick. this... You gave me this piece of paper. So this like... piece, piece of paper, you'll notice, Gareth, that this is actually an official piece of paper. Is it? It's real. So this is an official... This is Look, I, let me get, show him. It's real. Mine's, mine's got rips in it, so you know it's real. So we're going to fill out our teams on here. Once that's okay. filled out, we're yep. going to sign it, and yep. then that's it. We're going to yep. lock it away for the season. Okay. You will not be able to touch so it. So I'm writing my team on you and we sign it. Yes. Okay. So you're going to give 1 to 11 what your starting 11 is. Tell me your formation. Tell me what your players are worth. How you've spent your £100 million at the fantasy official Fantasy Premier League website has given you. Okay. Well, I took about 20 minutes to choose my team because yeah. it shouldn't take that long. 
Alex here took two and a half hours. I've started my team off. It's a 4-4-2 formation, proper Mike Bassett, England manager formation. The reason it's 4-4-2 is because I rushed it. Yeah. It's because I rushed it. It took 20 minutes. Yeah. Okay, how are you kicking it off? Who so is in, goal, going in goal, I have Edison, which is Man, Man City's keeper. Look, ball playing goalkeeper. Look, it's, he's going to get those clean sheet points. Going to get clean sheets. Going to get those clean sheet City points. Get clean he sheet. only costs six million. I'm sure you guys have six chosen him. He's the most expensive goalkeeper right there. 169 points last season, straight in there. Six million straight, of your 100 million pound budget. Straight gone. in there, my boy. There it is. Edison, yep. who's your first defender? Got Andy Robertson, Liverpool. Andy Look, Robbo. Assist machine. Yeah. Assist play. machine. He's a pretty much guaranteed points tally in defence. Straight in there. Straight so he's going to get you assists. He's going to get you clean sheets. Andy Robertson. How much is he, do you say? Seven million. That's it. That's it for a defender that's going to get those assist points. Already you spent 13 million and you've, you're one defender, one goalkeeper. Well, my next defender, ladies and gentlemen, and I couldn't recommend him more, comes in on a very meagre 5 million, 89 points last year. Is Ryan Bennett, Wolverhampton Wanderers FC's centre half. Can't go wrong. Five million straight in. Ryan there. Bennett of all players for five million pounds. Great shout. We'll see. Great shout. Ryan Bennett, who else you got? Got Carl Walker. Carl Walker, centre half. Look, the guy literally only cost me uh what was it? Six million hundred and fifty points last year. So you look at my defence so far, I've got two hundred and thirty with Robertson. 90 with Bennett and 150 with Walker. Can't go wrong. So you'll be fine if last season repeats itself exactly. Yeah. Are you at all worried that obviously it's the deadline day today, closed at five o'clock? Are you at all worried that uh, Pep's just signed Joe Cancelo as a uh, possibly oh, possible yeah. right back replacement? I am now. He might play wing. The back. thing is, we've. We've recorded this literally a couple of hours after transfer deadline yeah. ended. This is the stress that we have here, G4J. Yeah. Like, li like I'm fucked now. Now you said because actually, Walker's not going to start ahead of him. I was looking at Cancelo and I, he's five point five, so he's actually cheaper. I don't know whether he'll is start. Walker going to play left back or centre half? Well, he might. He might play Carl Walker at centre back like he does for England. Sometimes you never know how he's going to do it. He might play three at the back. We yeah. don't know. Well, there is a risk. It is now. I've got. Uh, Slabhead himself uh, in defence. Harry, Harry Maguire, Maguire, Man United's Harry Maguire. Decent shout. Only 5.5 .5 million, Alex. And, you know, 90-odd points last season for Leicester. You can't go wrong. You can only think that he's going to get a few more points for United. Do you think he's going to get more clean sheets for United than he did for Leicester? I don't. We sorted our defence out, so we might be all right. Yeah, well... He might we'll get, I, think he'll, I think he'll nick a couple of goals. So that's a decent... That's your back four. Yeah. You spent eight... 80% of your budget already, so who have you got? No, I haven't, you? actually. I've got Pereira of Watford. Um, you know, Pereira of Watford. Of your budget. 122 points last season, ladies and gentlemen. For the meagre price of 6 million, the guy had four assists, six goals. Um, you know, Watford have become a very creative, established Premier League side. You know, he's Troy I, Deeney's uh, best ever player he's ever played with. He's Troy, Troy Deeney's? Troy Deeney named him. He's, the he's best Troy Deeney's best. Yeah. It's not exactly Chavi though, is it? Not quite, but <laughs> Troy Deeney. It's not exactly Chavi though, is it? <laughs> no, but I tell you what, Roberto Pereira, six million, terrible shout. Okay, uh, next up. What else you got? I have got, and you know, I love this guy. I absolutely love this guy. I rate him so highly. Ryan Fraser, Bournemouth. The guy only costs you seven point five. Get him in your team. One hundred and eighty-one points. 14 assists last year and seven goals. Amazing assists. The guy's a machine. Amazing he nearly assists. went to Arsenal. He should have gone to a bigger team. And I'm surprised, but he's in that very youthful, exciting Bournemouth team under Eddie Howe. Straight in there. Happy for him Wee to be man, in there. They call him. They call him Wee Man because he's only four foot six. Is he only Small four foot six? No. He's about five foot four. <laughs> but he's I actually believe yeah. that. Yeah. No, uh, Wee Man. No, apparently, obviously, look, the guy's, the guy's brilliant. He had the best season of his life last season mm. um, apparently nearly went to Arsenal didn't go through just said that yeah so can he can he can he do it for Bournemouth again we'll I see. think so mate I think so 7.5 so. steep again though he's an, you know got? okay uh, I've got Wilfred Zaha um, a, a person I was happy to chuck in 143 points last year again only 7 million 11 goals uh, sorry 10 goals and 11 assists last year the guy's a beast he's a monster 
you know, you look at his Premier League stats, he's consistent, he's the best player, and happy to have him. Uh, £7 million on Wilfred Zaha, who might turn his head once again in January. Are you saying he has a wandering eye? He has a slight wandering eye. He handled a transfer request this, this de- yeah, on yeah, deadline yeah. day. Yeah, but if Palace aren't willing to let him go for £75 million now, why would they in January? They would have already done it. It depends. Maybe yeah. they can prepare for that, but I don't think he'll be going this imagine year. Imagine if he goes abroad and you're left with that big hole in your midfield. Well, imagine if you go abroad and I'm left with a big hole in the podcast. <laughs> I'm sure you'd fill it. What else you got? <laughs> I've got my mo- well, one of my most expensive players so far, and I'm a big fan of the guy as a player and a person. You know, 22 goals, three assists last year. Who am I talking about? I'm talking about Sadio Mane. I am indeed. 22 uh, goals is a the guy had 231, a monstrous return amount of points. It's, it is a Hall of Fame amount of points in the Premier League. 11.5 million. plus in, in fantasy Premier League. He, you he are doing well. buying yourself points for Sadio Mane unless he gets injured. So, yeah. straight in there. Happy to have him. There it is. And now I've got my strikers. Who you got up front? Raul Jimenez of Wolverhampton Wanderers FC, Raul established 1886. Uh, don't know if that's true. That's not true. Look, I mean... I, I wanted him in there. Big fan of Jimenez. Ridiculous amount of assists last yeah, season. Yeah, ten, 10 assists last year, First 13 striker. goals, 181 fancy points, and only 7.5 million. That's, I feel like I've picked up a very good amount yeah, of 7, 7 million pound bargains 7. in this 5. team. That, I mean, that, that is a decent show. I was tempted to name my team 7 million wonders, but I didn't. No. It's Cabbages FC. No, it's not. Uh, next striker, and... You know, arguably the Premier League's best ever striker. You haven't named your captain yet, by the way. I will. Oh. The next guy is my captain. Who's your captain? My favourite Premier League striker of all time, above yeah. Henri, Sergio Aguero. Ridiculous. It's but, not okay. ridiculous because the, we've gone the through guy this. We've gone through this. is guaranteed. If there is a guarantee season, yeah. in fancy Premier League football, it's Harry Kane or Sergio Aguero. And Sergio Aguero, you know, 201 points last year. 11 assists, 21 goals. And you look at the goals he scored, even with injuries, 21 goals before, 20 before that, 24 the season before that, 26. Unreal. The guy's a monster. Yeah, no fair. Guy's point. a monster. Yeah. So, guy's Sergio monster. Aguero, the guy's a monster. Your, you finish your, your 11. Who have you guy's got monster. as your backup? You've got four players, okay. you've got one goalkeeper, you've got one defender, one defender. This is very one important. Forward. Very important. You have to have a good bench if you're doing a day one team. True. And um, I've got Matty Ryan in goalkeeper for Brighton. for Brighton 104 points last season Alex oh. you know what a backup for Edison that is yeah. happy to have him in there yeah. and that is Matty he'll be in the championship next season but okay I mean he, they, he will Brighton aren't going to stay up are they they aren't no. they aren't they were very lucky no. to pit he'll Cardiff to the uh, uh, survivor last year but yeah you'll be leaking goals but you know sure get you I can only go by what he done last season Mom, who got a defence I've got Martin Kelly of Crystal Palace. Your backup defender. Do you know why I chose him by any chance? I think because 99% of other fantasy Premier League players have also chosen. Is that right? Four million pounds. He's an absolute steal. Four million pounds. Get him in your team, whether it's starting or on the bench, because it's four million pounds. He will free up some money elsewhere in your team. Get him in there. Fair Martin enough. Kelly. Okay, so next one I have Victor Camaraza. So... I think I've got a very, very, very strong midfield and attacking line. And to be honest, a team in general, I'm very proud of this. But Victor Camaraza, I think, you know, obviously signed for Crystal Palace from Real Betty. Uh, could have played for Real Betis, like in the Liga. I like 100%. the Real Betty. Yeah, I changed that. Yeah. I changed that. Yeah. I changed that. Uh, look, you know, as a Cardiff fan, I saw how good he was last year. He was creative in a very uncreative yeah. team. 106 points last year. Four assists, five goals. And, you know, I can only see him getting a lot more Decent. with Crystal Palace. Decent. And to cap it off, it all off, I said at the start that I rushed my team choice. 20 minutes. Yeah, and... Are you going to regret that? Yeah, my third strike is Andy Carroll. So... Hold on. Didn't gonna score last year. just check the year. date. It is... Date. It's 2019. 2019... Sorry, I thought it was 2011, yeah. yeah. you must have, yeah. Um, Andy Carroll hasn't played in eight years. I wish I took more time yeah, chosen my yeah. third striker. Right, that's look, my you team. You never know, he might, look, unplayable on his day, he does bang in goals when he's there fit. Is. And 
Yeah, good shout. Gonna Andy sign Carroll. it. Here's my. How much did Andy Carroll cost? Five million. Wow. Okay, so that's signed. You've signed, and Andy Carroll is on your team sheet. You can't take that back. Who was your um, vice captain, by the way? You've got your captain as Aguero. Yeah. If he's injured. Edison. You... Who? Edison. <laughs> Right, I'm going to kick off my team. In goal, for me, for Alex's day one team, it's Arsenal goalkeeper Leno. Okay, that's a terrible choice. And tell me why you chose it. Because is this Leno. thing coming at like 6 million, 5.5? 5. 5 million. Okay, Edison cost me 6. And you've, you've skipped out the there. I've saved right. the million. Terrible choice. Reason being, I'm... You trust to... David Luiz that much? I don't trust David Luiz with anything. Okay. But I, I'm... Saving my money for other key areas in the team. You fucked so up. So Leno's, Leno's my goalkeeper. Uh, do you want to know who my other my centre half is? So my first defender. It's Big Slabhead. Yeah, I do. <laughs> my big, it's Big Slabhead, Harry Maguire. Don't do that again. It's Harry Maguire. 5.5 5 million, an absolute steal, I think. So I actually agree with you. It's a dead bug there. Okay, cool. And then my other... Oh! My other defender... Look at it! Please, I'm trying to describe my... T oh, that is a dead bug. No, it's moving. Well, we need to... Should we save it? Save it. Okay, you can die other there. Uh, right, so my other defenders... Right, I've gone for a back three. Just saved a bug live on air. No, it's dead. Uh, my back three is Andy Robertson. So I've okay. got two of your yeah, actual... Yeah, yeah. Good your back four. Andy Robertson. What's your midfield? What's your midfield? Robertson. Let me finish my defence. What's your midfield? Robertson at 7 million. I thought as a banker. Uh, and then my other defender, who's also a banker, it's Leicester City Supreme Starlet. It's uh, Sionchi. When you say Starlet, C do you know the definition of Starlet? Sionchi. Do you know the definition of Starlet? Not sure because he's not Starlet. 4.5 million. 23 I think years old, isn't he? Yeah, he's Turkish. Mm. He played last season on and off. He's played... Pre-season, and it looks like he's going to be the successor. To You're going to Maguire. struggle with that because Liv uh, Leicester will leak goals since Harry Mag Maguire left. You reckon? Yeah, I think they'll be alright. What's your midfield? They've got a decent back four: Ben Chilwell, Roberto Pereira, yeah, Johnny yeah, Evans, yeah, yeah, Sion yeah, 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 yeah. Uh So that's my back three. I'll kick off my midfield. My midfield is fucking strong. Midfield, kick off with my captain. My captain is Mo Salah. Okay, you know, most expensive player in fantasy. Yeah. Easy option. And I but he's worse than Mane in terms of fantasy league, so you've wasted a million there. Mo Salah will score more goals than Sadio Mane this season. Yeah, but like I know you said that, but he won't. From midfield. No, but he won't score more than Sadio Mane. Do you want to bet? Mane's in midfield. Who gets a tattoo? Yeah, you'd yeah. be getting that Mo tattoo. Salah, Mo Salah is my... Uh, he, he was my first person on the team sheet, to be honest. Mo Salah. Yes, he's expensive. But he's midfielder. He gets twenty plus goals. He scored fifty goals in two seasons, fifty five goals in two seasons. Whatever he scored, it's ridiculous strike rate for a midfielder who's going to score more points than a striker would for every goal. Mo Salah had to be my captain. Okay, I'm keeping it strong next to Mo Salah. Okay, okay. Another goal scoring midfielder. It's Raheem Sterling. Yeah, great shout. 12.5 million. Yeah, another one that um, Fancy Premier League consider a midfielder. So I have Love to him. bang him in. Great Raheem player, Sterling. great person. Yes, he's expensive. Hard to not have chosen him. Hard to not have chosen him. Good choice, I good choice. Choose him. Raheem Sterling, so my midfielder strong. To keep it going strong, I've got Iosi Perez. Okay. That's Iosi Perez. It's only 6.5 million. Leicester, isn't it? 6.5 million, yeah. Move to That's Leicester. That's a bargain, mate. Would you get 13 goals last season? Would you have not chosen Ryan Fraser over him, though? More goals, I think, in IOZ Perez. And I, I think this season as well. Ryan Fraser, yes, he had a great season last goals, season. Goals, assists together, Fraser. I, I don't know. I, I like the look of that Leicester team. So I like the look of him in that team as well. Okay, you're putting a lot of faith in Leicester. Go on. Victor Camarasa. Yeah, copied me. He but, goes yeah. into my midfield. Copied me, but okay. Five million, I couldn't not. I couldn't turn it down. Five million pounds for a, for a guy who did in, an, in a really kind of barren... Cardiff side got excuse goals, me got we nearly assists. survived yeah exactly so Victor Camarasa in midfield I think he'll do alright £5 million pounds. I think that's a solid solid pick finishing off my midfield strongly it is is it who is it is it is it who Tony Martial Anthony Martial yeah you've put Ant you've you've made a you've made a conscious decision 
to choose Anti Martial on your team for yes. seven and a half million. Seven and a half million. You're fucking mental. They put him as a midfielder. Okay. Where do you think he's going to play? I see more use in in him in, in goal. Mm-hmm. In, in, in goal. Right. He's got, he's down as a midfielder. Why have you chosen Anti Martial? I'll tell you. I'll tell sh- you. I sh- Let right. Me tell no, no, you. no. Tell I saw Anti Martial play live last week against AC Milan, and yep. you've got more chance of getting shit out of a rocking horse I've than goals out of Anti Martial. Play a million times. So you can't base it off one game. You haven't Anthony seen him Martial play Martial will times. score goals. Will score no, goals. Won't. If he plays, he'll score goals. Anti Martial is as useful as a cock flavored lollipop. He can look. He can look disinterested. Yes, but when he's in that side, he literally looks disinterested. He's either going to be playing up top by himself, doesn't by himself, matter, or out on the wing. You could play but, him up top but, against Gareth, against a player. Oli has not strengthened. Of one player, Oli has not strengthened. Our front line. So Lukaku's that gone. That doesn't mean shit, it mate. It does because it means he's going to play. It's either going to be Rashford yeah. or Martial up top. Doesn't matter. There's two choices. Just because Martial's playing doesn't mean he's going to score. He's not a. F- the way I look at it, the way I look at it, Idiot. if Martial gets 10, 15 goals this season, 7.5 million is an You'd have been better off putting Ryan Fraser. My striker and my vice captain. You literally chose him over Ryan Fraser. Same my price. Striker and my vice captain is Harry. He will score more goals than Ryan Fraser this season. No, he won't. Yeah, he will. Okay. Uh, my striker, my vice captain is Harry Kane. Okay. Easy. Eleven million. Yeah. Yeah. And actually, I know that sounds steep. Eleven million, but comparison, okay. comparison to Aguero, twelve million. I think I've saved an extra million there, and I think Kane will get more goals. Aguero's a better player. Gets more goals. No, guaranteed. He he, no, he isn't, and he won't. Uh, and to finish off my starting eleven, I've gone for the unbelievable signing. The thing is, Man City are prone to scoring. The five. unbelievable signing, mm. Che Adams. The unbelievable signing for what? Only six million signed for Southampton from Birmingham. The unbelievable signing for what? Bagged twenty-two goals last season in, in the, the championship. championship. In the championship, mm. solid. Uh, started this, started his preseason well. Started do his you know what? At Southampton well. Um, he scored already. Where are you going to get that tattooed on yourself? I'm not sure. Because... Che Adams can decide. But, yeah. First, Mate, first off, team first off, pre-season, he scored a couple of goals. I fancy him to do all right. Again, if he gets 5, 10, 15 goals, if he gets 10 right. goals, I'll be happy with him. You, you, right, okay. You are going to leak goals. You've got Leno in goal. You've got just... Un, like you you you've put too much effort into your midfield. Do you want me to go through my backup? So my backup goalkeeper is one of my favourite signings of this transfer window. Aston Villa goalkeeper, Tom Heaton. Great shout, great shout. Four point yeah. five million. Wow. So he's there in case Leno something happens to Leno. Tom Heaton makes loads of saves. Very surprised. I would put him at five million, to be I honest. Know. Five point five, five point five. Great think, shout. I don't think the fancy Premier League fancy um, Villa Villa really no. No. who's your next player my next player is my backup defenders now I've got two backup defenders one of them you've already picked first one is Martin Kelly could not okay. 4.0 4. million no, yeah, 4, yeah, 4 million up that. yeah can't 4 million he'll get the minutes under his belt I think he's a solid he might get two points every week but it's a solid pick Yeah. my other defender is recently signed again Villa it's Matt Target okay 4.5 million now shit Matt Target will likelihood will play. They've signed him. I think he'll get assists. He does get assists, Matt Target. Right, okay. If, I mean, I chose in, Andy Carroll. I think he got three last season. Even if he chips in with two, he's a backup. He's there. He'll get you more points than Andy Carroll. He's a backup and he's there. My last pick. Go on, is, give it to me. Who is, is it? Manchester United teenage wonder kid. It's Mason Greenwood. Okay, I've won this. I've won this. I've won this. I right, I've won this because look, the guy is a promising striker. He looks yeah. great, but I, I've got Andy Carroll on my team. You've got Andy up. Carroll. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say you're Andy Carroll, and he costs more than Mason Greenwood. So I fancy my chances there. So that's my team. That's my hundred million spent. Yeah, hundred million spent. I will sign this mm. officially, and that is locked in. Boom! There it is. There we are. There's our teams. Boom. One of us is going to get a tattoo at the end of the season. Yeah, you will be getting a tattoo. Can we back out of this? Uh, no. No. He's shitting it already. Yeah. Look, guys, um, before you go, make sure you join our league. The link's in the description below. It'll also be here, right there, on top of this bottle of Corona. Yeah. Um, join in. You've got that £100 cash prize. Can't go wrong with that. Free entry, 100% gain. You know, 
Um, you know, we test your test your wits against us because yeah. obviously we think we know if football. You, yeah, you'll probably know football more than well. You definitely know more than him. Fuck so, off. Yeah. Good luck. Well, if you think you can beat us, guys, we'll be having our regular team side by side as well as our day one teams. Make sure you join in. It'll be a lot of fun. We're going to see you yeah. every single week for the rest of the season as well, whilst we keep up to date with the Fantasy Premier League. And if you haven't subscribed yet, why not? Why haven't you why subscribed? Maybe why haven't you liked this video yet? Maybe it's because of the threatening behaviour. Well, it's just annoying me, though. Sorry. It's annoying. Yeah. See you next week. See you next week, guys. See you next week. Thanks for tuning in to Goalposts for Jumpers. We're the best place for footballs and cabbages. <laughs>